podcast of me. The interviews that I did, I've been here since 1994. Oh, my God, it's almost 25 years I've been here. It's unbelievable. Hey, he's a man. Time flies when you're I am fun. definitely going to heaven. Well, why do you say that? So, Mons is doing these flashback podcast interviews that I did over my radio career. And you can put them on the internet. So remember Frank Russo went to jail with Jimmy Damore? Frank Russo was the county auditor? Yes. In charge of taxes and stuff like that, your property taxes and stuff. Why well, was this this interview was you know how things we say things change, but they never really do change? Take a listen to this interview. This is me and Frank Russo. I think Kim is in it too, isn't she? Yes, she is. And Marty? I think Kim and Marty were working with me. So this was like Mott says around 2002, somewhere in there, 2003. I'm arguing with Frank Russo, the county auditor, about my house tax and property taxes. Here, I want you to listen to this. It's only about five minutes long. I think you'll get a kick out of it, and you'll see how much different radio has changed in the last 15 years. This is me and Frank Russo. Take a listen. Mike Trevisano flashback. All right, uh, we got uh, Frank Russo on our hotline. This is the guy that's raising your taxes in Cuyahoga County because your house is worth more, so he wants more. Oh, on line six? Okay. Uh, now, remember, uh, this Frank, is 15, 15 years ago. Oh, 15 years ago. Get your hand out of my pocket, please. Oh, please. Yeah? You understand? You talk out of both sides of your mouth. Oh, yeah, out of six sides of my happy mouth. happy with your tax rate. Oh, Number it's ha one is happy. I got the radio down there, but I can't hear. I, I should be on. happy with my tax rate, you said? Absolutely. Oh. Three years ago, you were tickled pink. You came into our site. We give everybody the opportunity to come, come to our site. You came with your wife. I did not. My wife went herself. And she was happy. Yes. When she left, she was happy because she doesn't know any better. Oh please! Yes, please, and, and please. She, she wasn't happy. She wasn't happy. She was disgusted. That's just the way my wife is. She has a wonderful personality. Oh, she was tickled pink with your value. We sat. With I'm, how much did? How numbers. much did? You're shooting your mouth off. You wouldn't sell your house for what's on the value. What? What is let's the? Put it right now, whatever the old value is, try to let's. Get a buyer for your house on the radio. Hey, are, you, are you at are you at work right now? Uh, absolutely. All right, what's the value of my house? I don't have it in front of me right now. Well, the computers look, were were. I'm not. I'm not up. Not up to that right now. You're not you up to the what? Value of your house. You're not up to notice. You're not up to what? I'm not going to put the computer on for you right now. Why not? Because I'm. Off the clock. It's five thirty. Oh well, she, she, we we wouldn't want you to work overtime. Oh, I work overtime yeah, every I mean, night. I mean, God forbid. It's actually yeah. five twenty three. Yeah. So you've got seven uh, minutes. The, who am I talking to here? This lady. I, with I don't know. This is Kim. Say hello to Kim. Kim, how yeah, are you? I'm I'm all right. You gave Demora an unfair <laughs> slam. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you guys are Russo, R Russo, you want Russo. To be number one to compete with Lanigan, don't you? R Russo, don't I, I, I don't, I don't even know who John Lanigan right is, Russo. Listen, but, we give you yes. five sites to come to. You can uh, kill look, your property look. taxes five ways yes. on the Internet. Listen. Through the telephone. We Listen. can stop down and see us. If it wasn't for the political world and you bloodsuckers, a guy like you would starve to death. Oh, please. And please. What, what could you do for a living? Please, huh? please. Please. But other race. How, how could you? How could you Why say? You because I off. wouldn't lower myself to run for public office. You wouldn't how, lower yourself. No, I don't want to be one of you. Uh -huh. uh, no, please I mean, you don't insult me. A bad rap on, yeah. bad rap on the station you were talking about him. He's a good. Oh, good great guy! Yeah, you know wonderful that. man, wonderful man. He yes. Just wants your ratings to go up. He just and wants he our just taxes to go up. To yes. Oh, like, sure. Back to the houses, That's what it's all about. According to state law, all I do is put a value on your house. Right. Why? The value what? is the market value, so, and you live in the city that you live in. You live in Lyndhurst. They have their own property tax rate. They right. have their own levies. Sure. They have their own bonds. Yeah, but you the raised them. The tax rate is set by the city of Moven. Yes. Move out of that city into a city that you're happy with the tax rates. L let me ask you a question, okay? Okay. Wh why did you need the extra money? What extra money? That you're raising the taxes. According to state law, every three years we have to, it's the auditor's responsibility. Even if you need it or not. new value on your home. Even, even, even if you need the money, listen to this guy now. This is, you're going to learn something here. So there's a state law that you raise taxes every three years, even if you need it or not. Not that we raise them, that we reevaluate your property every three years. Right, and you raise the taxes That's based on that. Raise them. Not in all cases. Not in all do, cases. Do you, do you, do you want, do, uh, we just set a value. Some values are higher, some values are lower. Oh, okay. So you're going to. It's up to your individual so city. What, what percentage did you raise and what percentage did you lower? What percentage? Some, some cities went up. Smaller percentages. What what percentage of residents' taxes went up, and what percentages went down? Oh, 
over a three year period, they went up about eight to nine percent, which is okay. less. No, 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 no. You're not. Year. You're not. With, you're not. Yes, your property listen, going up listen. Value pay, year. pay, pay attention, yes, okay? Up, I want to ask you that question. Th this is answer. this is not this is not yes, hard for you. Going up two percent. L listen to me. This is not hard for you, okay? okay? It's none of your business what my house went up. Keep your goddamn hand out of my pocket. My is my bank account went up? You want part of that, too, you scumbag? Oh, you are huh? something else. I'll tell you. You're yeah. Really you, you know, people like you make me sick. You make me sick to my stomach. You make me sick to my stomach. Oh, so what's the difference if somebody's house went up? You want to charge them more money because their house went up? In the, you pay what value your house is according to the millage of your city. <laughs> Lindhurst has an adequate millage in the middle. So you said every three years, rate. every three years, taxes go up whether they need it or not. That's no, a state law. Some go down, some go up. All right, what percentage? Wait, listen to me. This is not how, th this could end the argument right now, okay? Mm -hmm. This, how, what percentage of homeowners did you raise and what percentage did you lower? I would say 90 to 10. 90% raised, 10% lower. Right, so what about the 10% that Get we're lower? the hell out of here. This guy, are you for real? What about the 10% How that could we're you lowered? possibly even throw, say that we lowered something when you raised 90% of time? And you know it's higher than 90%. And the only homes you lower are the ones that are falling down. In other words, you don't think the value of your house has anything to do with the taxes that you should pay? I don't think my taxes should be raised every People three years just because. $40,000, $50,000, 60000 should pay less taxes than you on their property. But you don't raise, that's not the point. You don't raise people's taxes just because their house went up in value every three years, whether you need the money or not. Go to Columbus. According to state law, that is the responsibility of the county auditor to just reassess your house by value. Yeah, but you raise 90% of them. But here's the thing. With here's the what house, thing? With House Bill 620. <laughs> house Bill 620? Well, 920, House Bill 920, your taxes probably went up less than $100 a year for a three-year period. So? So what? Did In other you, words, that's where, 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 where did that money go? You where does that money go? a small house, you where does, pay less taxes. What do you need that big house for? I have a very small house. What do you need? No, you put an addition, I think, on your house. I, you you stay well, away from my house. I'll baseball bat you if you come on my property. I'll tell you that right now. You send one of them guys on my property, they'll get a baseball bat right in the ribs. Listen to me. I'll call out. You better not send nobody on my property. That's my property. You cannot come on on my property. Oh, Trevisano. You stay away from my house. Calm down, Trevisano. And you keep calm, your scumbag employees away from my house, out too. You're getting out I'll of sick my dog on them. I'll sick my show. dog on you, too. What more do you I won't want? feed my dog for a week if I know you're coming. Your ratings are going to be peaked. Today. Oh, stop with your nonsense, would you? No, you make a fool out of yourself. Your okay? Listen. Ratings. You know that you're a joke. Listen, you know that you're a joke. You know politicians are a joke. You know the system is a joke. You know you're destroying this country. You know that you know all that. You're the joke. Who you calling a joke? Forget about the ratings. Quit trying to deflect it onto me. Hey, go turn your computers on, imbecile, and do some work for the people. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> 15, 16 years ago. That sounds like a conversation you'd have today with politicians. Think about that. Nothing has changed. What did Armin Buddhist just do? Raise taxes. I mean, I'm literally... <laughs> And I didn't buy my house in the 70s or the 80s. I bought the house in the 90s. And I have a very modest house, 2,100 square feet. Nothing big. Nothing extravagant. I don't live in Bay Village. I don't live in uh, Pepper Pike or Hunting Valley. I live in Lyndhurst. It's a normal house. Listen to this. My property taxes right now per month. I pay more per month in property taxes than I did my mortgage when I bought the house. And they just want to keep raising and raising and raising property taxes. And that was Frank Russo. What happened to Frank Russo? That interview was like 15, 16 years ago. What happened to him? Something happened to him. He went to jail. Something. 
Jail. That's right, jail. That's all you need to know about where your tax money is going. He went to jail. And he went to argue about the abuse of tax dollars with me. Wow. When Mots played that today, I almost fell over. I, I, I completely had forgotten about that interview. Completely had forgotten about it. I didn't even know about it. This is unbelievable. All right. Let's not get behind here. That was Frank Russo. That interview was done with me and him live on the radio. Mott says 2002, so that was 17 years ago. Wow. Here's big challenge traffic. Somebody texted in. That was a great interview, Triv, if it was real. How, how could that interview not be real? That that interview was done live on the air here. Those are, what do they call them now? Podcasted. Yeah, you can find it on the iHeartRadio app, the podcast, the Mike Trivis had a flashback yeah. podcast. We'd have a real podcast on there if they'd pay me, but they won't pay me. Right. So we got to put archive stuff on there. They want us all to do, buddy. Yes. <laughs> But yeah, check out that uh, the flashback podcast. It's pretty cool. But that stuff is absolutely real. There's nothing fake about that interview. Well, how would that be fake? I have no idea. My God. You know what's happening, though, to be honest with you? You know why you get texts like that and you get questions like that from listeners? Because you really can't believe anything you hear anymore? Yeah, because news has <laughs> destroyed Everything. The credibility of truth in this country. Yeah. No one knows what to believe anymore. And I don't know if that's being done by design. You know, we say they. I don't know who they are. They are way above us. But think about it. The credibility of news is destroyed. It, the, only, the only people that look at news now as credible are people that don't listen to news and accidentally, they hear it. Yep. But anybody that really pays attention a little bit doesn't trust either side anymore. I mean, the credibility of news has just been absolutely destroyed. And when I got in this business, that was pounded credibility, credibility, credibility. There's no credibility anymore. Say whatever they want. They report stories that aren't true. Everything. Never run retractions sometimes, but not often. So maybe that's why people, when they heard me and Frank Russo going at it, and that was from 2002, Matt said, think that it wasn't real. No, that was a real interview that I did live on the air here. Had a big argument with Russo. And that was about taxes. And you're talking now, 17 years ago, it sounds like that interview's done from today. With Armin Budish. They're just not going to stop. I mean, <laughs> except Budish won't come on. Yeah, Budish won't come on. He doesn't have the guts to come on. At least give Russo credit there. At least come on. So I mean, I, I it's all going to blow up one day because with inflation and taxation and salaries not going up at the rate of inflation and taxation. The, the whole system's going to blow up. You're not going to be able to function. No one's going to be able to afford anything. Really, I'm in a little, little small little house. I pay almost $7,500 a year in a very average suburb, Lindhurst. Not that I'm not knocking Lindhurst. I'm not saying, I'm saying it's not Hunting Valley. It's not Bay Village. It's Lindhurst. $7,500 a year. It's almost $700 a month just in property taxes. That's most people's rent. And again, I just live in a small house. I live in no million dollar house, no half a million, not even a quarter of a million. Think about that. Almost 700 a month I pay in property taxes. You politicians, literally, you should be slapped. You should, literally should just be slapped. Hey, I'm Mike Trevisano for you. What you're doing to people is really, should be against the law. Really, truly should be against the law. 
And, you know, there's people out there on the other side right now going, well, how are you going to pay for the police, the firemen, the roads, and everything? Please, don't abuse the money. Most of that property tax goes to a ridiculous school system. That's just a complete joke in Lyndhurst. That's where most of your property tax goes. You know that, right? Oh, and by the way, the state of Ohio said that using property tax to fund schools is unconstitutional. That's another fact. But yet it's still going, your money's still going to fund schools. Over Way over 50% of your property tax goes to the school in the community you live in. A friend of mine just texted in, text in payroll tax, property tax, gas tax, sin tax, sales tax. That's true, buddy. Add it all up and see what percentage you're paying. It's amazing how people, well, who's going to take the time to add all the hidden taxes? But why you can't make ends meet? I mean, if, if you literally added up all the taxes that you are paying, you, you would literally crap your pants. You wouldn't even believe it. You would go, no, this is a mistake. This is a mistake. You know, there's people out there to make good money. Whatever it may be, I'm not putting a figure on it. There's people out there to make good money. I'm not talking about stupid money. I'm talking about there's people out there to make a nice, should be money-wise making a nice living. And at the end of the month, they're going to their wife, oh, what happened? How come we're short? We're making blah, taxes. All right, we got to play a couple commercials. I went a little long there, then Rob Bailey with the news.